Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Reeves' class. Thank you for viewing this open house presentation. I hope it um, gives you a ton of information that you need to help you and your child be successful during this school year. I'm Mrs. Reeves, and I am your child's reading and language arts teacher here at Miller Intermediate for the 2021-2022 school year. So who am I? Again, my name is Mrs. Reeves. I'm a fifth grade reading, language arts, and social studies teacher here at Miller Intermediate. I've been in education for 13 years, and this is my fourth year at Miller. I'm a graduate of the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm a lover of The Simpsons, cookies and cream milkshakes, and baking my own sweet treats. So depending on the homeroom that your child is in, this is their daily schedule. If your child is in my homeroom, their schedule is to the left. If they're in Mr. Etook's homeroom, their schedule is to the right. Please know that this is their schedule every single day, and if changes are made, you would definitely be notified. Let's talk about class expectations. Our classroom is basically run with CHAMPS in mind. CHAMPS is a classroom management system that ensures all students are safe and productive every single day. The C stands for conversation. H stands for help. A stands for activity. M stands for movement. The P stands for product and all of these things equal to our S, success. CHAMPS guides our every move in our classroom and all students um, are expected to follow each one. This includes our classroom transitions where we move from one activity to another, teacher instruction time, our hallway transitions when we move from one classroom to another, tests and quizzes, and morning entry and afternoon dismissal. Ultimately, our classroom is built on respect, respecting each other, respecting teachers and staff, and respecting school property. Whenever the expectations are not met, we have a district discipline policy in effect. For the first offense, students receive a verbal warning or redirection. For the second offense, um, I can move their seat or they might lose a privilege. For the third offense, um, they usually get a student referral and a call home. And for the fourth offense, they will receive a student referral and be sent to the AP's office. Please know that I reserve the right to alter or skip levels based on the severity of the offense and necessary intervention that may be needed. Course information. Our reading and language arts courses are based on a rigorous curriculum from HMH into reading. We extensively study vocabulary, spelling, literacy skills, grammar, and writing. Our course is divided into themed three-week modules. Throughout each module, students will have an essay to write, a project-based learning group or individual project, and take several quizzes and tests. By the end of the school year, my hope is that your child is a stronger reader and writer than when he or she first entered my classroom. So how can you support your child's learning? First off, please check your child's planner every single day. For the most part, I sign planners every day and they write their class objectives every day. Please check it to see what they did and if there are any notes from me or any of their other teachers. A signature is required in the planners every day as well. Please help your child study their weekly spelling list. 
Students receive a new list every week. There are many different ways you can help your child study, but if you want to just keep it simple, just say the word and have them spell it. Next, you can check your child's grades on Home Access. Home Access is an app you can download where you have 24-7 access to your child's grades for all classes. Home Access information can be found on the Miller website. If your child is absent, please make sure he or she asks for and collects any missed work. Now, let's talk about our COVID-19 protocols that we have in place. In addition to our custodial staff working hard to keep our schools safe and clean and sanitized, we're doing the best we can to help ensure your child enters a clean and safe classroom every day. Please know that we sanitize and, uh, the desk and seats every day. We keep hand sanitizer in our classrooms. We encourage proper hand washing. We stay mindful of social distancing in the classroom as well. And we encourage students to properly wear their mask while in the classroom and in the halls. Please help us by reminding your child to properly wear his or her mask and occasionally donating some cleaning supplies, whether it be sanitizing wipes, Clorox wipes, some uh, antibacterial hand wipes, or antibacterial hand sanitizer to your teacher's classrooms. Since all the students are back this year, we seem to be running out fairly quickly, so it would be nice if we could get your help by donating some of these supplies. A couple of reminders. Please make sure your child follows the school's dress code policy. Students can be removed from class from not, for not wearing the appropriate attire. Students can wear jeans on Fridays with a uniform shirt or a school spirit shirt. And they can wear college shirts on Wednesdays with uniform pants. Please make sure your child wears his or her ID, her, his or her student ID, every single day. This is a part of the dress code. Please be aware of the school schedule. Students can enter the building at 8 a.m., enter the classrooms at 8.20, and instruction promptly begins at 8.35 a.m. Dismissal begins at 3.50 p.m. Please support your child's learning as mentioned previously as well. So how do you contact Mrs. Reeves? This is my classroom phone number, my Google Voice number where you can text me or give me a call, and the best email address to reach me. My conference time is from 1.30 to 2.15 p.m. You can also call me between 8 o'clock and 8.15 in the morning or from 3.45 I'm sorry, 3.50 to 4.15 in the afternoon. I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible if I don't answer. But please do not feel deterred if I don't answer. If you have any questions for me, please reach me at any of these numbers. I am here for you and your child, so please let me know how I can help. And I look forward to working with you this school year. Have a great day and thank you again for watching this video.